Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you once again for taking the time to join us for another of our live webinar, uh, this time in collaboration with our leading partner, HP. Uh, my name is Melanie Anchata. I'll be doing the introduction, and I'll also be doing the Q&A part of, of this session. Um, I am basically proud to, to, join, to be joined today by uh, two of my colleagues. They are, just one second, sorry, slides are a bit slow. Um, they are Jonathan Sprague, which is a free sales consultant from uh, HP, and Thomas uh, Ruckus, which is, a, which is our performance test consultant uh, at Test House. Um, basically, he specializes in load runner. I will briefly uh, go on through the agenda for you. So basically from introduction and then um, Thomas will take over to talk about Test House for a few minutes. And then basically the bulk of the presentation will be done by Jonathan on both Loadrunner and Performance Center 11. And there will be a quick demo, I think 10 minutes or so. And then basically after that there will be a Q&A for five minutes. Um, before I go, also during the presentation, if you want to make the screen a bit larger, uh, maybe ideal when Jonathan does his demo, please do, do not forget to press the full screen at the top of the page. Um, basically, without further delay, I now pass you over to my colleague, Thomas. Thank you, Melanie. Hello, everyone. Um, today, I'm going to talk about our main uh, service which we provide, which is performance testing. Uh, test House, um, well, we have delivered uh, a lot of projects, including uh, performance validation. Uh, we have completed performance testing projects by validating system performance. Uh, we also uh, did performance monitoring for various clients. Uh, we have also completed projects by monitoring system performance. Okay, therefore, we are focusing on the final uh, measurable performance characteristics, uh, such as uh, load testing, which is uh, carried out to understand the behavior of an application at a given level of load. Um, we use test results um, that basically give us the response times of all uh, critical business transactions. Um, stress testing is used to take the application to its functional limits uh, to its use by a greater number of users than expected. Um, stress testing aim is to determine the robustness of an application with an extreme load. Uh, we also do scalability testing, uh, which is testing of a software application for measuring its capability to scale up or scale out. Um, our external and internal applications, uh, such as e-commerce for retail industry, um, high-secure websites for banking industry, also large-scale uh, CRM and other database implementations. Uh, we use uh, different methodologies uh, to ensure that system meets performance criteria. Uh, we can provide managed testing service as an independent verification uh, covering the entire testing life cycle or managed components such as uh, UAT, user acceptance testing, integration testing, or browser compatibility testing. I'm going to mention several of our customers. Um, it's the center their back. Um, we currently um, rolling out testing for the um, CRM. Uh, Department of uh, Trade and Industry, uh, we're testing the internal portal. Uh, Department for International Development, we do application profiling for Oracle and e-business suite. We also got a project with BSkyB, and we're testing a uh, Cordian CRM, which is a database implementation. Therefore, we're doing projects with um, Associate uh, Northcliffe Digital, and we're testing their web portal. Uh, UBS, we're testing their child-based application, and of course, many more. And uh, now I'm going to pass it to uh, Jonathan. Thank you, Thomas. 
So my name is Jonathan Sprague, Pre-Sales Consultant for HP, um, focusing mainly on the, the quality management software, and in this case we're talking about performance software, so um, solutions load runner and performance center. And we're going to be looking at what's new in uh, version 11 of these tools. So the agenda for this section, first, first of all, a look at the market drivers, um, where we have been developing the products and why, and then look at each of those products in turn uh, and what's new in the suite. So the main driver is application modernization. Uh, most organizations are going through an application modernization drive and lots of things within uh, the, the organization related to the applications and the technology we work with are changing. So in terms of people, um, gone are the days where uh, you can sit with all of your coworkers. Most organizations now have distributed teams with people working all over the world, uh, lots of offshore resources, um, involved in testing, particularly performance testing. Processes are also changing. Even if you're not using an agile methodology, um, the chances are that your waterfall processes um, are being used in a more agile, with a small a, um, kind of way. And, and um, we need to be responsive to these changes. And the technology has changed from large monolithic applications to composite applications that are made up of lots of different moving parts, lots of different back-end applications and, and many service-oriented applications in the back end. So our solutions need to be able to support uh, these changes. We need to enable distributed teams to collaborate, to be able to track what each person is doing uh, and maintain a correct version of all of the assets that we're working with. We need to be able to support those different uh, processes and we need to support the new technologies and to be innovative in uh, the development of our tools to enable the ease of use of those tools against these new technologies. So these are the kind of the design goals uh, and the ethos behind the development of the latest version of our application management products. And that is Performance Center, um, the enterprise tool, and LoadRunner, um, the project-based tool for test automation, performance test automation. So if we look at the, the product uh, stack, if you like the software stack, that's the load runner suite of tools. Um, it's uh, been the same for many years now. It's a, a mature application. And these tools are also used um, within Performance Center. If you're doing uh, enterprise performance testing, you still use things like view gen and analysis. Um, but the management of those uh, tools uh, and the control and load generators is done by Performance Center. And I'll talk more about Performance Center in the second half. Um, and finally, within the application suite, we have HP Diagnostics, which is a tool for looking at the performance within the application layer. So you might be running a performance test, and you see that a search is taking 10 seconds, um, but you wouldn't know any more than that without looking at some tools that are looking at the application itself. HP Diagnostics can provide you with that capability so that you can see the method calls, for instance, in a J2E application behind that search, and you can see exactly where within the code the performance problems are. I'm not going to talk any more about diagnostics uh, today, and in this first session we're going to look at LoadRunner, so what is new within the core LoadRunner tool suite. And these uh, developments also uh, are relative to Performance Center, relevant to Performance Center as well, because many of these tools are also used in Performance Center. So as I said, LoadRunner is our project-based performance testing tool. Um, it comes with a site license and is designed to be used at a particular site location. And the goal of the product is to enable you to emulate production workloads on your applications in order to identify performance bottlenecks and hopefully then optimize the application and remove those bottlenecks. Ultimately, with the, the goal of reducing risk um, in deploying systems into production, reducing the cost um, of rework by catching defects early, and um, through the automation, accelerating that test cycle. So these are some of the new features in the current version. And first of all, we have the LoadRunner True Client. True Client is a new protocol um, for scripting against Web 2.0 applications, and in particular, AJAX applications. One of the problems um, with Web 2, or very interactive web technology we, ha we have now, is that uh, it's not just a case of making a request to a server and getting a page back. There's lots of dynamic, asynchronous behavior going on in these web pages. 
You might have little pieces of uh, an application on a page, such as a share ticker, for instance, that's making its own communication with a server in the background to bring you uh, data to your rich client interface. Um, and this, is, this will be using some kind of AJAX technology. AJAX also, there's many different toolkits, and developers often extend these toolkits. So to support this with a traditional load runner type protocol level uh, protocol it is very difficult. You have to, in some ways, reverse engineer a lot of the client side scripting that's going on to try and replicate that when you run a script. So the new uh, scripting technology we have, Load Runner True Client, addresses these issues. So here you see uh, that the scripting client is actually embedded within the browser. So the, the window on the left of the, the image there is the Load Runner scripting engine. Um, and because it's embedded within a browser, it's working at the document object model level, so it's integrated directly with the document that you're displaying. So there's no problems with compatibility with different toolkits. It supports any application that would run within the browser. Everything's now done from this side panel, all your parameterization, adding uh, transactions, um, any coding you want to do, you can do from within here as well. And it also has automatic suggestion of steps where there might be uh, problems where things aren't detected properly. One of, one of the advantages of the new technology is that there are no correlations. Because we're working with the browser, um, you don't have to catch session variables and parameterize them and then use them later in the script, which you would with a, a traditional loader on the script. Um, so there's no correlation required at all now. And it's a very interactive way of scripting and very easy to use. So, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how that works. So you should now be able to see um, a browser. This is an online banking application, and this is the application that I want to test, and I know it's uh, an AJAX application. So I'm going to switch into uh, Load Runner. So this is a, a traditional Load Runner script um, where you have lots of code in here. And um, one particular point that I'm going to talk about in the, in the demo here is um, it's a banking application, and we're going to select some bank accounts. And you can see within, uh, within the code here that the selecting of these different accounts, my savings and checking accounts, within the, the drop-down selection, I've actually got the balance. And that, and that would be a problem here. We'd have to do some parameterization, do some coding to catch that. Um, and that's one aspect you'll see when I do this uh, recording here, that it's much easier to, to cope with those kind of things with true clients. So I'm just starting a new script, and it's launched the browser for me. I'm going to go to my banking application and then just hit the record button. And the process that I'm going to go through here is to log in. And get the password right. And then make a, a bank transfer. So I'm going to go to the money transfer link, select my savings account and my checking account. And you can see as I record, it's showing me the steps that I'm recording uh, on the left-hand side in the, in the load runner pane there. Now, when I click in that date, that's, that pop-up there is an AJAX control. Uh, and we'll see that will be relevant when I go through and rerun the script in a moment. So that's selected my date, the amount I want to transfer. OK. There's my confirmation message. And uh, if I was doing a test, I might want to go to my accounts and just manually check those, those balances. OK, so that's my script. Um, so I stop that now by just using the control bar here on the, the left-hand side. And I'm going to replay that. And you can see here in step seven, where we had the selection of the, the savings account, we've got the value of that uh, the balance there. So I'm pretty sure it's going to fail when we get to that point. As I said, if you're doing a traditional scripting method, and, and if actually uh, the AJAX toolkit and everything you're using is supported, then even when you get to that point, you'd have to do some coding. But um, with this scripting technology, we don't have to do that. Oh, that's actually succeeded there. And it shouldn't have done. It should have. Somebody made a change in there. How was that? One of the problems of doing live demos, it never does uh, quite what you want it to. Um, so that should have actually failed there. For some reason, it hadn't taken the, the amount off of my uh, account the first time through. But um, what would have happened then is I can open this step. And you can see here it's got uh, 